The long-awaited trial of Jeffrey Epstein's alleged partner and pimp, Ghislaine Maxwell, finally getting started today in a Manhattan court. Epstein's ex-girlfriend is facing six counts of sex trafficking and enticing minors to engage in sex acts. Prosecutors argue Maxwell was a key architect in procuring young girls for Epstein's, quote, pyramid scheme of abuse. Though the former socialite still claims she is innocent and her brother says she's being set up as a scapegoat. Watch. So that Guillen is made to face the charges that Epstein never faced in place of him. And she is paying a heavy price, a blood price for that. She's treated as guilty. Oh, she's not just paying for his crime. She's paying for her crimes. She's being accused of sexually abusing children herself. So will this trial deliver justice for Epstein and Maxwell's victims? Here with me now to discuss attorney and Northwestern law professor Andrew Stoltman. Welcome back, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so let's discuss this a little bit because she is, this is a more narrow case than people might assume. In fact, there are only uh, four victims here who are testifying whom the case centers around. Why is that? I think the prosecutors want to keep it basic and straightforward, and the less victims you have, the more compelling their testimony can be. And I think that's going to be the biggest challenge for prosecutors in this case, because these witnesses have some credibility issues. These are the problems in sexual assault cases like this, and many of these allegations happened in 1996 and 1997. So it's going to be an uphill climb for prosecutors. Hopefully, they'll have enough to convict. And they do have that little black book, that bound and sewn book Ooh. with typed pages that include uh, not only many of the victims who were groomed throughout the process, but also some of Epstein's celebrity friends and politicians. So will that come into play? Yes, it's going to come into play. And, you know, you have some of the most famous men in the world, former presidents, multi-billionaires and celebrities who are extremely nervous, not just about the black book, but it appears as though Miss Maxwell is going to testify in this case. And Kennedy, I can tell you, when somebody is facing 70 years in a federal prison, they will say virtually anything to get off. So I can promise you some really nervous people right now who are sitting out there, and these are some of the most powerful men mm -hmm. in the country. But she has not been able to come to a plea agreement yet. And, and she has offered quite a bit uh, to the federal government, but they have not taken the bait. Why is that? I, you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe she hasn't been willing to provide them all the details that are necessary. But, Kennedy, I think it's absolutely horrific that this is the only person in Epstein's inner circle who's been charged. Now, I'm hoping additional charges are going to come down the line. But when you have a private jet and you're calling it the Lolita Express and you're ferrying some of your best friends all across the world with what appear to be these underage girls, the question is, why hasn't anybody else been charged? Right? Is she protecting someone? Or are prosecutors who botched the case in 2008 when they agreed to a plea deal without him serving any time, are they trying to, uh, to protect these people? We'll see. Yeah, and, and this case has been well documented. Obviously, you know, there was the original book, Filthy Rich, and then the Netflix series. So people have gotten uh, very emotionally attached to this case. And, you know, many people believe that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I'm one of those people. Yeah, well, you know, I get it. Look, there's so many things that are problematic here. And I I'll bet you, if you didn't have that amazing reporting by the Miami Herald reporter and the ne Netflix series, I don't think prosecutors ever would have pursued these charges again. But the pressure was over overwhelming. So these prosecutors better get it right. And I'm hoping she's not the only one in Jeffrey Orbit's circle, uh, Epstein circle, who's going to be charged with the crime because there are others involved with this. Yes. And, and she wasn't just a pimp. She wasn't just procure procuring women, you're going to have a psychologist testify that she was a big part of the grooming process. And uh, that that is a hideous affair. On top of all of that, she herself has been accused of sexual abuse and sexually abusing these young women. Uh, I hope she answers. I hope that justice prevails here because uh, that woman deserves a nice, warm spot in hell. Andrew, thank you so much. Amen. Well said. Oh, thank you.